thing is how to ruin a good relationship or just ruin a relationship period because hopefully you're not like that disturbed or frustrated with the people you want to ruin it. I don't know, right? Sometimes we're just like actively trying to like recreate our like childhood broken relationships and like go back in time and like right them once and for all. But it doesn't really work that way, does it? Um, and we don't really figure that out right away. It's kind of like a perpetuating cycle. Um, and then eventually it gets really habitually problematic. And this is not everybody, but a good amount of people at one time or another kind of, I want to say, go through this to a degree in the process of learning what you don't want. But since everyone sucks and life can suck, um, I'm going to give you... The, uh, it's probably going to be like hundreds of ways. So tune in. Uh, guess what, Fizzle Steam? What, what, what? Oh, it's too quiet. Okay. All right. So I don't have the lab today. I think, do we have two mic sources? I think we have. little bit closer to my mouth so um I wouldn't say yeah right uh, okay so well the thing okay so there, there's like a couple things that do tend to happen so the last signal flow I have no idea what that was about last night we tried the battery um, we do use a pretty big like totally unnecessary mixer um, it had to have been something with the signal flow, but it's never like just died like that before. Um, and I don't know the full extent of the signal flow. But yeah, it's like there's a lot more going on than you guys see. And I know like it's frustrating. It's frustrating for us too. But there's a lot of stuff like we're trying to implement. And like this is kind of why I'm like we need to just stream longer and just like kind of just figure this stuff out. But we always get started so fucking late. So that kind of sucks. Well, what can you do? Um, how is the sound, by the way? Is it any better? Is it still low? Oh, yeah, no, I've been meaning to get back on stereo. Um, I did something, like, last week. Yeah, I did something last week. Uh, it's just, like, the way it's structured now, it's just kind of like, ugh. Like, I love the concept of it, but there's a lot of crap going on in my life right now. It, like, I just... I can't be on it like 100%, you know? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, no, definitely. Hmm. Is this one even plugged in? It's not actually plugged in? Okay, I don't know. Well, 
it's off. There's that. If you want to turn that on, then that'll be an, an additional mic. It's not pre-recorded, Nefarious. It's not pre-recorded. Um. No, I know what you meant. I know what you meant, Real Student News. I know what you meant. Yeah, no, I'm definitely down. Um, it's just it's been super like crazy and fucked up lately. Um, definitely don't want to go exactly on record about it per se. Um, not particularly, but yeah. I've been better, but whatever. Straight from the bottle, classy. Uh, yeah. That's another great way to ruin relationships, guys. It's just drink it up. By the way, this is Moscato. This is a whole 5% alcohol, so fuck you. Okay? It's 5%. This is like a fucking wine cooler. I'm not explaining myself to you. Oh my god. Pick up some kind of habit in which you numb yourself from the reality of the person that you're trying to, to terrorize or ruin said relationship with because breaking up is so hard to do. You can um, pick up some kind of habit, you know. Thank you for that. I try. Um, I know there was a lot of inconsistency for a while, but I'm trying to kind of like keep that going more consistently now. And um, it's like a fan noise. Huh. There is a little bit of room tone. There's quite a bit of electronics in here. And I know mics like exemplify them. Um, but in fact, maybe I'll plug in headphones and go check over there. Am I in a restroom? What the fuck? Why would I, who, who, why would I be in a bathroom? Hello, that's gross. How dare you? Um, another way to ruin a relationship is totally make a mess in their bathroom. I'm talking makeup everywhere. Pads everywhere. When he gives you like a little shelf or a little drawer, fuck that shit. Take over the whole countertop. That is now yours. That is now yours. That will also work. Um, guys, um, you can do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard for him to live any of that stuff down. Okay, like one time, but it was a really nice fucking bathroom. Okay, wait, well, hold on. There were two bathroom incidences. One was I was getting ready, and then I was on the pole. And then another time, I think I was just trying to be, like, quiet. You know, but you know what I mean. Like, generally, I'm not just like, hey, guys, this is the bathroom. No. 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 But, yeah, that's, shut up, Fizzlestein. Okay, back to more ways to ruin relationships, guys. Um, what has been your favorite way to ruin relationships when you just can't bring yourself to break up with somebody? Or maybe you want to see just how far you can push them, how much you can mistreat them, and how much they will just kind of stay in your vicinity, just lingering. You want to see what they'll tolerate. Um, it's kind of a terrible thing to do. It's very fuckboy. Um, but girls can do it too. Absolutely. We all can. Um, it's kind of coming... No! Oh my... Okay, Gucci's maybe did that, but I've never done any fucking poop streaks. What is up with... What is with all this poop stuff lately, guys? No! First of all, girls don't poop. Number one. So that's not even physiologically possible that I could have participated, let alone had like a whole theme about it. I mean, I could have a whole theme about how we don't do it, but I certainly wouldn't have one where I do do it can't do the doo-doo. Anyway, um, let's see what else. Oh, definitely take them for granted, right? Everyone loves that. Why are you mad? Riggs, girl, why are you mad at real stream? Well, it's not really a prom dress outfit. Um, it's more just like a summer dress kind of deal. I know it's not really summer, but or I guess spring, spring, summer. No, not a, not a prom dress. <laughs> My prom, okay, well, I had like a, I went to quite a few proms. Um, the first time I went, it was like a big old poofy princessy thing. And then I wore a stripper dress to prom. And um, I think the other dresses were kind of poofy too. But yeah, um, it is a little big. Yeah. You know, like I've had.
had one to mean Ipsilis. You guys already know. That's like my thing. It's my favorite way to get bands. Oh my god, how do you know about it? How do you know? Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait, am I muted? How, how am I muted? I didn't touch. Okay. Check, check, check. Okay, thank you for that. Thank you. What? That's literally not my fucking MySpace page. Clogging toilets? Oh my god, shaka, ew, no, fizzlesteen, gross. Oh my god, ew. I can't, like, a girl grow white without being, like, a psycho. Like, I'm just, like, waiting. No, um, I did have a Vegas wedding, though. Um, someone had a funny comment. Um, okay, so, Jack's Broken Shell, I don't, do, I don't know if I talk on Snap or, if, like, you've seen before, but there was a guy, oh my god, he was so freaking sexy, but he had this thing, he only had sex with me twice. He only fucked me twice. Oh my god. And um, dirty blood. Um, he, you know, uh, he directed plays, and he liked to wear a lot of scarves. He had a Pinterest with fashion stuff. You know, there. I mean, there, there's definitely like, is he gay? Like, you could think, is he gay, right? Um, but like, okay, his thing. That ass. He loved, fucking loved handies. And not just handies, not just any regular old handies. Shut up, Dixie. Listen to me. You know how usually I have like my skanky, Shaniqua, fucking ridiculous, like nail, like post office bitch nails with lots of bejewels and colors and shit? Okay, so I like to do my nails like that. I don't have them right now, but uh, normally I do. That was part of his fetish. He loved it. Oh, hold on. Dangerously close there. Um, he literally would just come through, bring handy with the nails. Like, like I could literally like get him to come through if I just like took a picture of my nails, like holding like a bottle of lotion. <laughs> but I'm just like, it was, it was so okay. It was weird because check it out. Like honestly, like if some of the girls don't like, you know. Um, giving you guys pleasure we do it most of the time because i feel like guys just don't even take the time to figure out girls needs and some some guys are very selfish in bed not all but more than not or they don't know what they're doing or they don't remember if we like certain things and so like you know like we we know how to please you guys and get you off pretty much from the time we're in middle school okay um there were different places but like the craziest, okay, whatever. He, he was very tame and I just thought it was super adorable, but he was like super into it. And like, honestly, like I could talk about nails all day. You guys don't want to hear it, but this dude would be into it, you know? And it's like, yeah, maybe my girlfriends will appreciate my nails and stuff, but to have someone like really actually, am I gonna come to Rhode Island? Why not? Um, to have someone like actually appreciate the effort I put into my nails and be like, I love them and like actually mean it. Like, oh, that was, like, awesome, you know? Um, like, I mean, handies are nothing. Like, I feel like I've not done the handy dandy since, like, I don't know, like, middle school? Or maybe, like, some kind of in-between situation where it's, like, okay, you switch between one thing and you're maybe going to transition to another thing or another put hole. Um, but just to just straight handy, that, that game has been long gone. Okay, like that's that's middle school stuff. Um, but okay, I'm, 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 I need a shot for this one. Shot to the water. It's five percent. Fuck you. Okay, so I've said this before. I feel like I was doing a lot of blowies. Okay, to or okay to avoid. Now, this is really horrible, right? Like, if I didn't want to do anything, if I wasn't ready for it, the guy should have just backed the fuck off, right? Well, hello, like, self-esteem issues and daddy issues and, you know, um, anxious um, avoidant attachment styles. 
it's you know a perfect disaster to find a girl that you can just kind of go hurt or pressure into stuff. And so since I really wasn't about it, right? Like I was really not trying to fucking give it up. I felt like I had to just give them something to just shut them up or to just make them still like me. I know it's really horrible to say, but I'll be honest. So there were a lot of fucking blowies. All right, like a lot. Now I was mostly in long-term relationships, like, okay, so I wasn't like just blowing everybody all over town. And not to hate anyone that does, because girls do your thing. You're in a very powerful place when you do that, by the way. Um, point is, that shit got really old, okay? Like, I got tired of that. Like, my neck hurts. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a lot of work to do that. And some guys just take their sweet freaking time, or, you know, they'll like, um, it's, I have a point to this story. God damn it, okay? Whatever, so... I'm just being honest with you, okay? You guys were asking about the handies and it just turned into this whole thing. Um, point is, so when handy guy comes along, I was like, oh my god, like that's literally nothing. <laughs> you know, like, like when... <laughs> oh my god. Y'all gonna have to throw something on CTS to do any of that. No, no, I didn't say that I wouldn't do it. It's just like guys just come to expect it and then they like don't even appreciate it or return the favor, you know, and it's like, okay, if you, if that's what you need, fine. I better have a good time. Number one. Number two, you better respect me. Okay. Because I'll be damned if you treat me like shit and then think I'm going to put my mouth there. I'm not going to do that. I might, like, I, I can tolerate other stuff and just, you know, let people just obliterate my boundaries and needs, but that is one thing I just will not do. I will not comply with that. So that, that's that. Number three, hygiene. Hygiene. Shower. Soap. Everywhere. Trim. Trim. If you're, if you're like, you know, average or above, and we actually have a ruler system right there, um, I don't want to move the camera, but there's a ruler right there with actual, actual measurements and actual measures, uh, because people like to exaggerate, like, oh, I'm this and that. Well, stick it up to the wall, buddy. See what's up. Um, you know, if you're average or above, and you want me to just take the whole damn thing, and you don't trim, fuck you. Fuck you. Mm. My nails and the bottle, probably. And narcs? What? Look, look. The thing is, okay, what I'm telling you guys, and this is some very deep, intimate, in, intimate information, because I feel like y'all just messed up my chess game over here. Um, because I feel like I engaged, and maybe a little more oral than I actually wanted to. Um, it, it feels like it's. Not that sex isn't, like, kind of special sometimes, sometimes it's not. Um, but, like, it, it's almost just more personal, like, just because I'm like, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of, you know, like, I, I'm not going to do all, like, cause, t let me be honest. I don't want to tell, I can't ruin the fantasy entirely. I can't, I can't ruin it entirely. Let me just say this. That is, at the very least, 90, at the very, very, very minimum, even including the girl from what's what's that movie? Deep throat with the clit in her throat. Ninety percent for you guys, okay? Because I'll be damn sure that while she was doing that in the film, he st and she was close. He was fucking it up every time. Every time, you know, she would tell him, "Oh my God, I'm close." That's why we can't even tell you guys that. In fact, it's hilarious. Like if we get one, and if it's not like super dramatic, like porny, like loud, and you don't even notice, and it's like, whatever. Um. That's good and bad. I feel like if we tell you guys it's about to happen, <laughs> if it's about to happen, then you guys will totally just do something else. So we can't tell you because it's almost like a knee-jerk thing. Like, you don't mean to. And girls can kind of do it, too, like, just, like, anticipating, like, a load to the face, you know? Um, but, hold on, I had a point there. Had a point. Load to the face. 
Oh, yeah, d yeah, so like just a little knee-jerk thing um, can just totally ruin it and, and just take it away. You could be plateauing, like, you know, almost, oh, and then you just, it's gone. It's gone. Um, I am, I guess, maybe neurotic in a kind of way, like, not neurotic. Mm. I need very, like, precision, exact, sur like, just surgical, precise, like, this is what I need. Do not deviate. Don't get creative. I didn't fucking, this is not a fucking free stroke, okay, or what do they call it, freestyle swim? I didn't, I didn't say that's what that was. So, you know, I'll try to pe show people what I need. Sometimes they listen, sometimes they don't. Grizzla, or Grizzla, did you think that that is any easier? What do I look like, Sasha freaking Gray? That is a whole day event, okay? I'm talking, oh no, no, because as we know, right, girls don't poop. They don't poop, ever. Okay, as, as they don't. And hate what? Okay, no, no, but now, now that we're on to this, we're just going to lay it all out there, okay? We're just, you guys are just going to know, maybe take a mental note, and hopefully we don't have to go over this again. I mean, I, I, I feel like this is a conversation I have every, like, six months or so. It's been time. we got some new eyes in the fucking room. Fine. I'll do it again. We've established the criteria for the mouth shit, right? The mouth stuff. Um, the other way, hun, that is an all-day preparation event. I'm talking like not eating prior to. I'm talking like power blasting your ass with two enemas doing a handstand and then in the shower, with a detachable shower hose and high water pressure, of course, just blasting that. So it's just like squeaky clean, okay? And if you are type A personality like myself, and like I said, just super, you know, um, you, can't, you, know, you just can't just jam it up in there. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You gotta, it's gonna be another 45 minutes at best that, you know, it could be beast transitioned into eventually allowing something else to go that way. I'm a size seven. But yeah, so literally, this, this is, at, at the very least, it's like minimum, minimum like four hours. Okay, see, that's the thing. Okay, here, here's, the, here's, here's, my, here's my take on it. So, um, can we get a uterus um, fucking illustration sip, please? The one that has like the pelvic outside too, not just the fucking cow looking thing. I need um, maybe a profile. <clears throat> Grizz, okay guys, here, let me, let me tell you guys, Sims are gonna get so fucking mad right now, but let me tell you what's up with the sound stuff or the music being too loud. So y'all bitch about the clicking clacking. Well, guess what? Yay, thank you. Are you gonna come my way so we can do some IRL? Thank you. I should. Nobody was snorting. Shut the fuck up. Literally nobody snorted. And by the way, it's allergy season, so you. Thank you, Real Stream. You're the best. Real Stream. Thank you, thank you. Okay. No, no, no. Being, okay, being a pleaser is like being a martyr. It's your soul. Okay, that, what were we talking about? The back door? I lost my, I lost my, oh, oh, the clicking. Okay, check this out. So with the clicking issue, or my mic being too low, or the music being too loud, since y'all cry, since you have like cry and cry and chat, like oh it's clicking. Well, it makes the simp who, as you may or may not notice, they don't really come on cam like at all. Like we're lucky if they'll talk. Okay, so they're super shy and insecure simps. And you're gonna make them feel bad about like clicking, trying to like make shit look good and stuff. They can't handle that, so they're like, okay, we gotta put music on. Okay, fine. Um, so they're try there's a lot of overcompensating, right? Yes, that is me in the donor alert, and maybe momentarily I will explain to you the story behind that 
yes, it, it's a fun, fun story. Um, but yeah, so that's what it is. It's almost like it can't win. Um, and because the film location that is set, that's what this place is called, set, because it is set, um, they're in a very close vicinity. Even though this is a pretty good size, they're still fairly close. So it's like, what am I supposed to do? Just like, just a box them in and just, you know, have them just sweating their asses off? You know, like, no, like, I mean, they're, they're not paid or fed very well. So everyone's got to be comfortable. Sometimes they need to actually get up off their asses and adjust things over here. Um, now I'm explaining to you the weird clicking. Okay. Well, this, that's my rings on the bottle, but the, the mouse or the typing, that's them. Okay. And they're doing what they got to do so we can have a good time. Um, to try to blend that, sometimes they'll turn up music. Um, sometimes the lab will pick up like weird sounds or whatever. So like, we're just trying to work stuff out. We're trying to give you guys a good show. We do appreciate your feedback though. Is seven too small? What do you mean? Now, I'm, I'm a seven foot, seven size seven shoe. Um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty, a pretty, um, it's pretty average size. Oh, that's not nice. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, no. What do you guys think? I'm like a size queen? Ugh. All right. I'm not trying to dig on anybody, but we've all seen what some people's blown out vajays look like. And mine is not. Alistair was three pounds, so we'll just we'll just leave it at that. Alright. Size queen dude, no, not even. No, okay, where's my fucking vagina fucking illustration with the pu with the monus pubis? and the fucking uterus and the side profile and the front profile because I, I actually had a thing I needed for that. I couldn't find it. Okay, so whatever. Um, okay, uh, there was a point to that when I when I wanted it. What, what were we talking about? Um, oh, you guys are, someone asked if girls like really like it. Really like it. Okay, the girls that do in my opinion, must have, like, their uterus or whatever, like, kind of, like, maybe tilted or aligned in some kind of way that with that entry, you're able to maybe hit the G-spot in some way. That is not the case for me. Oh, no. Not hardly. Um, but I could see how in some, because, like, like, anatomy is unique, right? Like, even though there's kind of, like, a general order of things things come in a lot of variety shapes sizes um things can be poster that means when something's very internal and it's the back um things can be tilted things can be really elongated things can be very frontal um all those little factors can affect like whether people have preferences for certain positions or not um i'm that ass though um I did for a little bit. I had a Tosh element board. Yeah. Mm. But that us. Um, the girls who just love it. Like, that's the only way I want it. Just my ass. Uh, okay. One of two possible things. They're fucking lying. Very likely. Number two. I mean, two. They have what I described as... Um, just the positioning of their parts and the uh, uh, G-spot area, area somehow, somehow being able
for whom had the audacity to write that a ruined vag ruins relations? Okay, that's not really how vaginas work, son. Okay, first of all, unless it's like a prolapsed uterus, which is a very, very rare occurrence, or a prolapsed rectum, which is actually a prolapsed colon in reality, um, like, they're, they're meant to take a pounding, okay? So, you know what I don't understand? And um, um, this joke is not mine. This is Betty White's, by the way. So, shout out to you, boo. Um, she said, and I quote, I don't know why pussy is such an insult. Why it's such a, you know, like a fragile thing. Like, you know, dicks, y'all can't take anything. Like, tap your balls. You guys are, it, like, whole, curved over, crying, spazzing, just hating life, just, oh, nah. like, your balls can't take shit. You can't take a little tab slap. You definitely can't take a kick punch. Do you know what kind of pounding takes? So pussy should not be another word for something that's weak or um, not masculine. Not that not that pussy's, like, that, I don't mean like that, but not, like, strong or cannot withstand pain. That's not fragile, okay? Because that's the one... Maybe that's what it's really about with you guys and your fragile ego shit, you know? I don't have a prolapsed anus. Jeez. Do we need to do a, 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 a fucking stream like that? Because I happen to have an internal cam. You can stick it anywhere, really. And I've actually never used it, so it would be it would be actually be super um, sterile if I chose to stick it there. I'm not really into that, but it's definitely not prolapsed. That's for damn sure. <laughs> okay, Grizz, what's the best size? Okay. You're asking me to factor in all these things. There's Okay. What would I say about drool rancids? I don't know. Okay, so would I be down for CX Bukaki? Of course. Of course. How could I not? I'd be like, you know, the ultimate honor. That's like hashtag goals. <laughs> Battery gone? Oh, did we lose picture? We shouldn't. I think we're plugged directly in. <clears throat> no, it played. No, I think he did it twice. No, it played. Um, do we want to play it again? Sure. Would I date a guy like Bur Burger Planet? To be honest, like I'm trying to like not do the whole data streamer person. Um, it's not that, like, I have to be a center of the attention all the time, because I totally can share the stage, absolutely, uh, but people, like, if we're, if we're just, like, saying burger, for example, like, if it's exactly like burger, he's kind of, like, mm, very self-serving, and just very much the epitome of, like, no, hands down, no. <laughs> Bukaki, yes, we were we we were talking about that. You know, why not YOLO? <laughs> okay, well, I'm not again. I'm not. I don't know where this whole size queen thing came from. Okay, um, my Hitachi, which is all about the external stimulation, um. It, uh, that does a trick. <laughs> that definitely does a trick. Oh, your stream, they did donate twice. Oh, let's replay that. Um, thank you. I just got an update that you did donate twice, and we're going to replay your dono because that's not cool, and I apologize for that. So, everyone, stay tuned. Message brought to you by tonight's sponsor, Real Stream News. Uh, are you, do you have stream lamps open? Yeah. Let me go over there. Uh, 
I don't know it well enough to tell you. Uh, dude, I tell you I'm visual all the fucking time. I'm visual. I'm visual. I need to. I'm visual and kinesthetic. That's the only way I can explain and, and duplicate, replicate something. So I can get up off my ass and I can do it. Um, how many guys are allowed in my bukkake? I feel like there could be like some type of duel or contest, like a qualifying match or something. And then, you know, from there. And we'll mix it up, the jizz, right? We'll put it in, um, we'll put it in, uh, what's her name? Jessie? Yay! Thank you, there it is! Thank you. Um, we'll, we'll put it in Jessie, and then we'll have Tessie Jr. Oh, I see. We can name it Tessie Tracy Jr. Wouldn't that be cute? Oh, fizzle scene. Trust me. Um, that was corrected very quickly. I did buy a wrong vibrator and like, okay, like honestly, girls, like if you know what you like, like don't even bother asking salespeople at like adult bookstores or sex shops. Don't even bother asking them for advice because they'll just tell you about the new products, not understanding the functional specifics that you need. I, I like, and I like, i Cannot be more clear about this, right? So, what's so great about Hitachi? Yay! Tracy, you are looking right, extra you. sexy tonight. Oh, oh, we got to really be careful about this boob situation. So, what's so awesome about Hitachi is it's it's vibrational powers, um, velocity. Is that right? Vibrational velocity, intensity, RPMs, cycles per second is like. <gasps> Oh, but to be honest, I could probably, I could probably stand to, you know, up a little notch. I'm thinking like not quite cement mixer, but something between that. Um, but yeah, so Hitachi Magic Wand, when it was like invented, what, like, was it invented in like the sixties or something? It's like, it's a classic. It's a classic and they got it right the first time and there's just absolutely no need Okay, there's no need to improve upon something that was just designed perfectly. Aww. Well, World Stream, off off record, we'll, we'll catch up a little bit. Um, things have been, like, really hard. I'm having an emotional moment right now. No, but for reals. Um, it's nothing personal. Um, I've been um, dick-free for quite a while. Uh, by choice, actually, <laughs> by choice, um, just a lot going on, we could just, we'll leave it that way, you know, uh, what else, what else, okay, so we're talking about, like, ways you could totally ruin a relationship, so, uh, sim Ugh, simps don't know, um, simps, how did you guys ruin relationships with, like, like, maybe some girl that, like, maybe you guys were, like, internet girlfriends or something, or, like, some girl that, like, wrote, like, maybe she liked you on, like, that little circle yes or no, and she wrote, maybe. Well, like, I'd be a real gentleman and just do all kinds of stuff for her and then just tally up all the things that I did for her and then all of a sudden sort of, like, ambush her with, like, some, con like, sideways confession and then if she didn't, you know, if it weren't requited, she would, I, I would just, just flip out and, and so I, I realized that I shouldn't go... To that, to that extent, I should just, you know, you know uh, maintain symptoms. Oh, isn't that super cute but kind of creepy? So, I love that. Thank you for sharing that with us. Snaps for simps. Okay, so simp was basically saying in order to prove his worthiness and show his devout affection for whatever girl in elementary or middle school, whatever, um, he would do various amount of tasks. How many things would you say you did before you itemized and presented? I've done all this for you, me lady. I, I really haven't fleshed out the story that well. I, I don't have that great details. Oh my God. I'm sure it really happened. But anyways, so, you know, that I mean, that's kind of cute. But the thing with that is when you do gestures or offerings or favors, really careful of this nipple shit, um, with the expectation that thinking like, oh, if I just do enough, like she'll notice and she'll just love me. 
That's how we get hurt, guys. Expectation hurts us more than anything. And sometimes we can just put in all this effort because we just really like someone and we just really want them to see like how much we like them. And sometimes it doesn't translate that way. Sometimes it just looks like we're just throwing ourselves at them. And it's like not cute. I mean, it's really great if you need simps or something, but in all reality, for something that you'll take seriously and respect and have sex with, um, it just doesn't work that way. Grizza, uh, that's actually a really good topic. Let's um, let's unpack that a little bit. In fact, I want to get a lighter for this one because I have a um. No, okay, that that is that is so misguided. Like literally, I'm gonna break this down for you guys because that is it's not that simple. And I'll explain to you why uh, the treat them like shit method seems to work for um a good rule of the population. I I will we're gonna get all into that. Okay. Mm. Not necessarily. I mean, money's cool. That's definitely a good thing if you have if you can offer that. However, women, ladies, um, if you see a guy and you get with him out of uh, necessity, or he's a mail ticket, or just to survive, that's not a good place for you right? You want to be able to kind of carry your own. You want to be able to leave if it's not serving you anymore. And I don't, I'm not talking about the grass is greener, be a fucking more fucking, you know, up your fucking game with the gold digger shit. No, no, no. I'm talking about don't be with someone solely because of money. Because a lot of times, and I've done the sugar baby shit, honey. So this is not just coming from fucking nowhere left field peanut gallery. Okay. Um, sometimes in those situations or people who are very wealthy, um, they just think, okay, I have this so I can act this way. I don't have to do X, Y, Z because I have all this money. So that is going to make up for my shortcomings, which may be anywhere from the looks department to the, um, compatibility department to the, um, intellectual stimulation department to the just, oh my God, like I just, it's a chore when we have sex department, you know what I mean? I'm not saying that's, I'm just being really broad with that. Um, Fizzlesine, luckily you are an anomaly. You're an exception. You're not the rule. You're very adorable. And I know you'd be grinding hard. Uh, heads up, like, for Fizzlesine, who, like, literally is just jacking it, like, at the office, like, half the time and still getting paid and still doing boss moves. You know, he's got his own office. Like, he's got a good job and they're paying him to jack it, like, Half the time, they don't even know. Like, on company time, like, that's how, like, get it, son. So, there's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with that, all right? So, and, um, not, he's Filipino, so they know how to take care of their women. They do. They're raised, uh, they're very, like, the the whole family dynamic. I, I love that. My best friend growing up was Filipino. Uh, okay, what were we unpacking? Um, oh, yeah, the treat women like shit fallacy, and then, uh, Okay, I do need a lighter, though. <laughs> True! Yes, it is, it is, it is, it is. But at, but then the thing is, when it, when that is the soul, like, um, and, and honestly, nobody has to explain what they're doing, why they're doing anything. Um, one thing you can always count on is people will do what serves them best. Even if they tend to be honest people, um, thankless people, um, just selfless people, at the end of the day, even people who have issues establishing their own boundaries, um, you can predict people's behavior by just assuming, well, what's going to serve them best? And people can even do things from like a really subliminal, like low key kind of way where it's like, seems to benefit you, but it also benefits them. Cause like, like as since we're talking about that, keeping that tally, you know, um, I mean, I'm going to get a lighter though. So let's take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back guys.
So let's talk about that whole, well, there is some truth to how disrespecting a girl or treating her badly can just drive her crazy and get her hooked on you. That's only a certain percent of girls. And how that happens is there's an attachment issue between the girl and her, with her father relationship. Whether that father was non-existent ever, whether he left, or whether he was present physically but didn't meet her needs emotionally and just kind of ignored her through adolescent or teen years. That's going to all manifest the same way as an adult. So she's going to become used to being ignored feeling that her needs don't matter. So she's going to go that extra mile to keep you around because all she knows, we, we seek not opposite, but what's familiar on a subconscious level. So what I mean by that is that, so if she's used to just being ignored and her, her needs not mattering, then she's just going to just basically throw herself at you. Um, now the thing is you can't just treat her like shit the whole time. You have to breadcrumb her a little bit with like, little moments of intimacy and closeness and you got to kind of reward her breadcrumbing is little rewards that ultimately stop and don't lead to anything this could be fa uh, future faking this can be uh being hot and cold this can be once she start like you, you show interest and then she starts to show a lot of interest and then you pull away like since she's used to that just being disregarded ignored um, and kind of like she doesn't matter, like she's going to pursue that just because she that's what she's used to. And she's just used to the rejection in, in all respects. Um, that doesn't mean that she likes it because I can tell you more often than not, this same girl that we're hypothetically talking about in this situation, she's going to be complaining to her girlfriends. Like, I don't understand it. Like, why is he doing this? And her girlfriends are going to be like, bitch, give me the phone. Like, don't text him. You're texting him too much. And then you guys are both playing the texting game where, like, she texted you last and you didn't text her back. So then you text her. And then she's like, oh, my God, I can't be too desperate. And it's like this whole, like, cat and mouse thing. Um, and she's just mo mostly experiencing a lot of anxiety and insecurity because all her esteem is within your hands. And that's a very precious and dangerous thing and power to have. And a lot of guys abuse it. And, like, almost no girl's immune to it. In fact, if you are the type of girl that falls into this category, it's really not by your own fault. It is your, your upbringing circumstances, um, which are totally out of your control. Even then, um, you like I said, you, it can be a father that leaves, that was never there, that you never knew, or it can be one that's physically present, but not... Um, no, it's not a cluelessness. No, 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 no. No, there are... There are women with master's degrees in psychology who still get fucking pulled, who still get one pulled over on them by fuckboys and narcissists. It happens every single day. Okay. And one thing, um, your esteem is not intelligence. Emotional needs and intelligence and awareness is not the same as IQ. That's EQ. It's two completely different things. Now, um, to, t uh, to touch on Someone was mentioning when women, like, if you're, like, good to a girl, like, she'll just, like, not like you or disrespect you. When that happens, it's most likely that it's an unfamiliar territory for her, and she just doesn't know what to do with it. It's just not normal. Um, it's not that she doesn't want it. It's everything that she probably wants, most likely, especially if she's trying to heal those, like, um, wounds, those father wounds or those rejection wounds and whatever, but when you're, when you're dealing with unfamiliar, um, dynamics in interpersonal relationships and intimate relationships, and you have like a good guy and that's not something you're used to, it can be really jarring and weird. You know, like you're, you're, you're waiting for this person to start becoming like possessive or withdrawal or like make you feel like you're competing for something or, or, you know, just, just like, um, be super ambiguous about the whole thing and have no accountability nor have to, you know, explain it. Excuse me, Joe Hacker, fake ones don't sag. Okay, these are double D, these are 32 double D, they don't sag. They're up here, does this sag? No. So you can take that back.
No, excuse me. See, that's that's what's not right. To effed up women or damn it, that's not fair. That's not fair because they were not given the love in the beginning that some people were. That doesn't mean they're damaged. They just have a different outlook and a different life experience. It doesn't mean you're damaged. Um, truly damaged, I want to say, is when that like manifests in like cluster B personality disorders and where you just ruin everyone around you. What we're talking about, those people tend to be like, people pleasers and um they hurt themselves more than anyone else no exactly no things can change and so here's the thing so not some people are like trying to improve their self themselves their lives their their happiness their life experience and their quality of life and some people just can't be bothered and some people don't see how they are the common denominator in a reoccurring uh, series of events. So I like I could sit here and be, like tell you about all the trash guys I've dated, but in all reality, the common denominator of all those trash guys is me. So to sit there and point all those fingers at them is not entirely fair because I was the one who allowed them to a degree. We're not going to victimize the victims here. But to treat, to treat me that way, right? So I need to figure out where am I not having boundaries? Where am I just tolerating bullshit? You know? So that's a whole self, self-exploratory self and whatever. Um. Anyways, guys. Yes, they do end up dating guy, older guys. Yes. Yeah, fizzlecine, that's actually a really, really good uh, point you draw. So, um, everyone matures differently, but uh, in general, as far as behavior and um, emotional regulation, uh, more often than not, as, as a general rule, women tend to mature, at least emotionally, quicker than guys do. Um, and to kind of be more settled and more self-aware and, and interpersonally aware. Um, that, and, and cause like, think about it. Like, God, what are you, what are little boys playing with? Little boys, you guys are destroying shit. It's okay. I, I have a son. I get it. You guys are destroying shit. You guys are terrorizing. You're naked making paint. Who knows? Okay. Little girls, we're playing with baby dolls. We're dressing up as fucking brides for Halloween. Our whole life we're training <laughs> for this position of, you know, being a, a partner or nurturing, you know? Um, whereas guys, you know, you guys really get to explore your needs in a, um, very, what's the word, um, uh, impulsive way. Like, this is how I'm feeling. This is what feels good. This is what I want to do. This is what entertains me, you know? Well, thank you for bringing that up, Chris. And that's why I was saying, because uh, Fizzlestein was like, well, you could have all that money, uh, money options. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I'm saying, okay, guys, do your hustle. But ladies, if you're trying to like come up, whatever, like, don't have a, don't, don't look at a guy as a meal ticket, because that's going to be a temporary situation, all right, and if you're, like, I just feel like, even though I've been a stripper, even though I've had sugar daddies, I'm an ethical one, okay, <laughs> and I feel like I probably would have made a lot more money if I was unethical, but that's just, that's just me, okay, um, at the end of the day, if you got to take care of you and you, you got to decide how much is your time worth, how much mistreatment are you willing to endure? And I'm not saying everybody that has money is a terrible, sick fuck. That's not true. That's not right. But the thing is, if you know, like I, I just think women should have options. And I feel like if you're trying to do the relationship thing, whatever, everyone should be bringing something to the table. Um, so many times for hundreds and thousands of years, bitches just be like, ah. Oh, that damsel in distress shit. Ladies, it's not cute. Okay, I get it. I get it. But at the same time, just get your own money so you don't have to be with some buck boy just because you don't have other options. Have options, bitches. Do it. A I don't, I don't, oh my goodness. All right, guys, on that note, it is four in the morning. Oh my, super. Alice has got to be up at like eight. So we're going to shut this shit down. You guys are awesome. I had such a good time tonight, and we'll see you next time. Have a good night. No, the vic...
Victim card canceled. How fucking dare you, okay? Bitches, stop doing this victim shit because it gets all twisted and stuff. It, it doesn't matter. They're not listening to us. We need to just be doing our own shit so we're not worried about you. We need to know how to fucking change our own fucking tires. And we need to just be in a situation where we can just fucking walk away. But some of y'all be putting us putting this like that. So ladies, just have the ability to walk away. That is all I'm saying. Okay? And come through, Grizza. I'll make you a victim. 